What's up, everybody? Welcome back to You Don't Know Squat. I'm here to follow up from the video last week we did on um, traveling and training. How was that? Uh, I thought it was great. Um, what can I bring with me when I travel to, to work out with? So the videos last week we did, well, the video, um, we got a lot of comments in it, like um, private messages on my Facebook asking, you know, for other things that we could like come up with. And people typically ask, like, what can I bring? Because when people travel, go vacation, <clears throat> you know, they can take a kettlebell or a dumbbell, but it's going to cost them more money. And they really don't want the hassle. So, um, you know, I said, keep it simple and just, you know, pack a jump rope and uh, a band. Okay. Um, and are there certain things that you can do for upper body and, and lower body? Yeah, that was one of the questions was um, uh, a member had uh, messaged me that travels a lot and, you know, sometimes they have a hard time. Um, putting together workouts. It's not that they can't do them, because um, they can. They just need the creative mind or something on paper or video to, to say, this is what you should do. And once they see it, they're like, yeah, this is the stuff I do here. Uh, why can't I do it here? I just need, you know, um, that takes the thinking out for them. So one question was, can you do an, um, an all lower body? There's people that really like to train lower body. Um, and then the second question was, can you come up with a full body dumbbell only um, complex that I can do? And once again, it'd be like 10 or 15 minutes and then you can add the, uh, the jump rope and band in there. So I was like, yeah. So that's what we got today. Okay, sounds great. Cool. Okay, so you wanna grab a dumbbell. Um, this is gonna be three to five rounds. If you can get five in, that's even better. You can always progress. Don't grab something too crazy heavy where by the time you get to the fifth round, your technique's terrible and you're you lost track of really why you did the complex in the first place. So five reps each uh, movement. We're gonna go dumbbell swings, straight into dumbbell goblet squat. The goblet squat's gonna be a four second lowering with a two second isometric hold, back up five reps. Then from there, you're gonna keep the dumbbell racked. You're gonna go good mornings, and then you're gonna go right in the reverse lunge. That'll complete that complex. Then you can either do some jump rope, light jump rope, a little active recovery between your uh, sets, and then get right back into it. So let's get into the uh, let's get into the complex. We're gonna do uh, a dumbbell snatch and a push press each arm, and then you're going to do a goblet squat into walking lunges. Then we're gonna get into a good athletic position. We're gonna do single arm rows each arm, and then we're gonna finish with push up variations on the floor. Mix them up. Have fun with it. Right? Have fun.